Hoosier Ohio News Channel, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Hoosier Ohio News Channel. An Angola woman is charged with stealing lottery tickets, and the DeKalb Barons bring home a win. I'm Maggie Johnson. I'll have details on these stories coming up. But first, an alleged repeat sex offender has been arrested. The DeKalb County Sheriff's Department has arrested Timothy Stutzman of Plymouth for a warrant out of DeKalb County on charges of failure to register as a convicted sex offender, three counts of possession of child pornography, and three counts of repeat sexual offender enhancement. Stutzman is being held at DeKalb County Jail for a $6,000 bond while he awaits his initial court hearing. An Angola woman is charged with stealing lottery tickets. Jasmine Marino was charged with theft of a large amount of Hoosier Lottery scratch-off tickets and booked into the Steuben County Jail. Sheriff's deputies and a security investigator for the Hoosier Lottery conducted the investigation. A ribbon-cutting ceremony was held yesterday to celebrate the installation of the new handicap-accessible handicap swings at Riki Park. The Auburn Kiwanis Club, the Auburn Rotary Club, the Auburn Classic Noon Lions Club all helped to raise $16,000 for the swing, while the community pulled together to bring in another $17,000. A second phase in the playground planning is in the works. The DeKalb Barons boys cross country team won the West Noble sectional championship last night. This is the first sectional win for the team since 2007. Both the boys and girls cross country teams will return to West Noble for regional competition on Saturday. And that's the news for now. You can always find the latest news, he news headlines right here in Hoosier Ohio and around the world at HoosierHioNewsChannel.com. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a great day.